The great thing about the ancient alien theory is the fact that we can compare modern achievements with stories from our ancient past. And so if today we're able to create a two-headed dog with six legs, is it possible that a similar creature existed thousands of years ago? And I say... everyone and welcome to another episode of the PCP. I'm the best guy ever and welcome to my unidentified podcast. No one knows what it is. Uh, I am here with uh, Tom Oliver. Aliens built the pyramids. They genetically engineered us human beings. <laughs> they crashed in Roswell. We use their down ship to create microprocessors and that's why Intel is a thing. Alienware computers are actually <laughs> alienware. <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. Uh, hypocrite is here. Uh, Nate. Nope. 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 Wait, you said something. I for compl- uh, all right. Uh, cut the the whole podcast out. I made a mistake with the <laughs> what I said. Oh, no. I was gonna make a joke, well, but I said the whole thing wrong like three times in a row. Just kill me. Just I'll, I'll cut, this, I'll cut okay. myself we'll, out of the we'll, podcast and put like a like a beep boop noise. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to that. Uh, 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 Lethal Aurora Mage is here. Do we have ghost aliens? That is the question. Mm. I think they might be the same thing. And of course, uh, Munchie wears tiny hats. Well, guys, I'm getting a signal from outer space right now. Oh my god, I'm going to type down WoW on my paper because they like World of Warcraft. (laughs) (laughs) This is a WoW signal, but that's World of Warcraft now. We really have evolved since we were those aliens long (laughs) ago. Uh, Well, everybody, we're talking about aliens today. The most powerful race on the planet Earth. The and most, beyond. the most benevolent beings with their compassionate eyes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am Peridot. I love Steven Universe. <laughs> uh, I am everything. They're everything to me. I, uh, I just want to go on record as saying my absolute favorite emoji is without a doubt the alien face emoji, and mm-hmm. I, I copyright it. It is my property. <laughs> Every time you use it, you owe me one American dollar. Uh, but okay, so let's let's actually check out these uh, Urban Dictionary definitions. We've got a double a double for you, everybody. Oh damn! So number one, we've got aliens. Okay, aliens. Here's wait, the top wait. Definition did we for did aliens. we explain what the PCP yeah. is? Oh, we totally forgot. I thank you for reminding me. <laughs> mm-hmm. So the PCP, everybody, is a podcast of a bunch of internet content creators who got together and they just they just have fun. They just love goofing. And we love aliens. Gaffing. We love, we love aliens. aliens. Big proponent of alien. We, we feel more related to aliens than you all. You fucking <laughs> disgusting normie humans out there listening yeah. to it. So that's why we Indeed. decided to talk about our spirit brethren today. People always say, does morality come from within the soul of man, or does it come, come from, from a higher aliens. being? Does it, or does it come from God? Or the third option, did it come from aliens? That's what I want to. That's what I want to get into. Okay, but here, Urban Dictionary, give us some information about what the fucking aliens even is. Okay, here we go. Top definition: People from outer space, generally peace loving and wise. They've come to Earth because we've got Velcro, and they love that shit. <laughs> that's. That's that's the thing. Uh, the the example is terrible, so I'm not going to read it. But then our other definition here is UFO. Okay, UFO, abbreviation for Unidentified Flying Object. The USAF defines a UFO as anything that relates to any airborne object, which by performance, aerodynamic characteristics, or unusual features does not conform to any currently known aircraft or missile type, or which cannot be identified as a familiar object. Okay, well, thanks, thanks, Poindexter, for the technical so, definition. So, so the United that. States Air Force just locker. confirmed the existence of aliens if they have a definition on record. Mm-hmm. Is that true? I mean, how so? Because you just said the USAF, right? The United, mm-hmm. if, they, if they have a definition for it, they must acknowledge that it's a thing that can happen. If it can happen, that means it's real. If it can happen, it is real. Yes. <laughs> it sounds like it sounds. Real I to watched me. Ancient Aliens. All right, I know yeah. exactly how you have to do this logical chain of how That's aliens right. work. Okay, you know, I, I s- never once watched Ancient Aliens. Oh, so Mage, go on. Yeah, mm-hmm. like when in Google Docs, when I type teleport, it fi- it corrects it as if like it's not a word, but when I type aliens, it's a word. Therefore, hey, it confirm. exists. Oh shit! Confirm. It's in the database. It's real. Probably built by aliens manipulating us right now. Uh, oh, 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 oh,
chase. Aliens are real. I fucked real. it up again. I fucked up. I, uh, there's, oh, there's a static that that, uh, that cut into my. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I'm back now. I'm fine. <laughs> Alien, <laughs> aliens are interrupting your thought process. Yeah. They're, they're, yes. they're yes. scrambling my brain, making me not funny, and uh, the, no, the audience <laughs> is just hearing static, <laughs> yes, so it's fine. Fault. They don't want oh, to let we... you talk. Let's just, just cut to the chase here. Aliens are real. Okay, no, okay, they may be no real. Problem. Have they visited the Earth? Uh, yes, have you seen no, Steven you. Universe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh, got me. The yeah. Sneeple are here, and they're going to fuck us up. <laughs> my, my, my opinion is that the, the aliens are objectively real, but we've only okay. we, the only ones we've seen have been really funny, and the other ones that we haven't seen <laughs> the <ones> yet. <laughs> uh, We're just okay, so the fact, that. All right, the look, fact of the matter look, the fact yeah, of, go, no, go the fact of the matter is that aliens mm -hmm. are real and they're illegal and they're crossing the border every day <laughs> and Trump's gonna fix that shit. Stop <laughs> making fun of him. Is alien like a is that like mean to use as a word? I don't um, know. Is that like a, a negative implication? No, there? it's not. No. It's not. Because now it's now it's undocumented immigrants. Yeah, you know they, how that's they changed? changing it. Well, it's. It, I guess it, it's just like Judge Collin talked about. It's like, only the illegal, softening of language illegal over time. alien that that's it. because an alien in in that yeah. terms is just someone who is living in the country but is not a a resident of that country. Like Phil Collins famous song "Legal Alien." Like yeah. all of the fucking aliens that crashed here in Roswell are now being held prisoner yeah. in Area Fifty One yep. as we re uh, reverse and died of old age. Um, do you think they were forcibly bred to reproduce so we could continue to study? I, them? I that wouldn't happened? put it past us. Maybe, <laughs> maybe maybe aliens are like are like uh, space elves and they're undying. It's very possible. That, that'd Who be do nice. you think produces mean. more pre cum, Alf or <laughs> ET? Alf, <laughs> definitely, definitely Alf. Alf. Alf's definitely, a cum monster. Alf gets around. ET yeah. is, uh, no. It's I mean, have you seen Alf. his nose? I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so here's so the thing. The, it's, that's not his nose. I'm just yeah, oh right. no. <laughs> so the universe is really big, right? It's really, 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 it's really big and I don't really, know really, that. really, really fun. Okay, well, take really my word for it. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> I've looked into this a bit. I've uh, watched Star Trek. It's hilarious. I've, I've seen, yeah, it's really goofy out there. So, okay, because the universe is so big and human beings have explored and can, and can see such a tiny little baby-sized percentage of it. So, you know, as the as the discussion goes, as the, as the argument goes, there's so many opportunities for life out in the cosmos. And, like, when, when you get into this stuff, like, immediately, like, religious people think that, like, there's something magical and special about Earth. That, like, you know, God created man in his own image and, like, oh. made us here and shaped the universe around us. So, yeah, like, God created, like, the entire fucking universe to house one little basically insignificant planet here that nobody gives a fuck about that we can't do anything with. Just as, like, a goof. Well, well I'd say I that mean, was inefficient. Yeah, I don't, rapture, I don't so. think anyone here is, like, doubting the, the possibility of, like, humanoid aliens in the universe in general. I just want to make the point for the listeners out there. Mm. For anybody, for any, for any doubting Thomases, they will be deleted. As will Tom from for this podcast hey, immediately. <laughs> this was my topic idea. You can't delete That's me. True. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, did you know? You're actually, the I opposite of a doubting Thomas. I, You're the woke Thomas. Exactly. Here's, woke. here's a... I'm taking that term back. I'm fucking. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm suing the the federal government to get custody of that term. <laughs> Bastards. A gib. What were you saying? Uh. Uh, here's an article uh, thing that I read, and I have no idea whether it's true. But did okay. you know, guys, that there's like life in our solar system on Mars? Oh in, my like, god! In like in like in like the under under the surface oceans on Mars, people have found I, small little is bacteria. Is Munch getting invaded by aliens? Stop! Right now, please! Is that what's happening? <laughs> please stop them! <laughs> please. <laughs> They're trying to. They're doing everything they can Stop. to disrupt this podcast so that the word does not get out that we're onto their shit and we know they're among us. Every yeah, I was about day. to. I was about to announce uh -huh. something, but you know, I was interrupted, <laughs> and now my brain is like scrambled. I can't <laughs> remember what I was going to say. Here, here, this here maybe the... this image will help you out. Check out this. Things. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> just so everyone knows, we are constantly like in our chat dumping more alien images just to keep us woke as possible. I, I, while I, I, we're, uh, I just Google yeah. searched funny cartoon aliens and we're just posting all the cool <laughs> images that I found scrolling down in Google image search. Maybe we'll past, remember to post uh, a to link to all these images. No, you, you can play along. <laughs> just type in funny cartoon aliens and just laugh at them while we're laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue. Okay, you know Tom. Tom may point, posts a picture here that makes a good argument. It's like, okay, if aliens weren't real and didn't visit Earth, how did they build everything in prehistoric Earth? How did yeah. they? Why were they responsible for every 
a major achievement of humanity, you know, up to the invention of the pyramids. The cuckold. The, the 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 blocks of the pyramids could not be carried by men on their shoulders. They just couldn't do it. It was just too heavy. There was no. You really think that, that a bunch of fucking people dragged uh-huh. multiple ton <laughs> blocks across the sand? No, aliens did it. The, mm-hmm. the the amount of precision that the pyramids are built with, you yep, can't even do that yeah. today. In, in with modern technology, you think in a bunch real of, life? Are you gonna say in, in, in real life? In real <laughs> life, do you think a bunch yeah, of fucking monkeys yeah. with sticks can make that shit? Do you think it's a bunch impossible. of Minecraft yeah. characters built those? Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Like, 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 like the, the 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 true facts all point to aliens just being really swole, and they they carried them on their shoulders because they're really strong. Uh, and then instead, okay. of, they didn't have spaceships; uh-huh. they just jumped away from our planet to another one. Mm-hmm. They just That's had they very do, strong legs. I, okay, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Does anyone have any good reason to believe that aliens were actually on Earth ever? Is there any justification other than like, oh, they must have been here? Google search the, the Anunnaki, yeah, yeah. god damn it! What, what, what is it? What is it? The, the, what? An, the Anunnaki, that shit's fucking real, dude. You, okay. All, all of the ancient creation myths are actually just misinterpretations of alien visitation. Look. Watch Ancient okay. Aliens. Okay. It lays it all out. Mm. Shit's fucking real as fuck, <laughs> all right? Everything that you happened s- in the world is aliens. Have you seen all of Ancient Aliens? I don't know how much there is. I'm there is I, I've like seen quite a bit. Hundreds. Uh-huh. And I've seen it all. <laughs> Holy shit. And is it always that guy? Is it, it that one it's dude? It's not always that guy. You know what the interesting thing <laughs> okay. is? Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna blow your fucking mind right now. This is okay. how I know that Ancient Aliens is legit. All right, so <laughs> I just linked... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, this is some real fucking shit right now, okay? I'm with you. okay. This is okay. a conspiracy theory that's going to blow your mind to shit. All right, so everybody mm-hmm. knows what the ancient aliens guy looks like, right? Yeah. Everybody yes. knows that. All right, people at home, play along with me here. All right, you're about to have your fucking brain expanded. You're going to be like, whoa, everything <laughs> I thought to, that was you're a You're about lie to reach level true. seven Christ consciousness. Right, exactly. Yeah. This is gonna, you're going to get at least two levels of Christ consciousness. Okay. expansion here so <laughs> google ancient aliens guy go to images put that in your brain now now go to google images and google search babylon 5 all right okay. that's that's a television show okay babylon 5 centauri <laughs> and then and then be amazed that the centauri aliens look exactly like the ancient aliens guy it's the they... exact same thing. <laughs> they are literally oh, the same. No. These fucking guys. Is that is that a fucking coincidence? No, it's not. I, I he's even tra- see pictures of him posing with pictures of them. He's Clearly trying. He's, he's he trying to tell us something. He knows shit. All right. Ancient aliens <laughs> is a hundred percent legit. Babylon Five is a realistic account of aliens and how it's going to go down in oh, in shit. the future. This shit is real. It's all Dude, fucking he's, real. He's not the only one. Look at this shit. I'm seeing some major similarities here. <laughs> Kim Jong Un or whatever. Yeah. Oh, wait. They're among us, dude. And and, and you know what us. the fun in the in Babylon Five, the Centauri are the closest alien species to humans because they live in Alpha Centauri. That's their their star. Right. That's mm. why that's how it's good. It's it's all coming together, dude. This shit is fucking I mean, mathematically real. speaking, they are the most likely to be the real aliens that fucking Steal my parking spot every day at work. You Those know, motherfuckers. What What are you gonna do, I, man? You just, sometimes you just gotta let the aliens have their way before they fucking alien. You. My uh-huh. favorite alien is is the the guy from Doctor Who who is like he wears a suit. The doctor. Uh, at the no no not that guy. <laughs> Uh, he wears a suit, and, and like you, if you look at him, you're like, oh god, it's a scary guy. But then if you turn around, if you're not looking at him, you completely forget his entire existence and the fact that he was just there. And if you turn around, you're like, oh my god, it's a scary guy. And then you turn around again, you're like, wait a minute, uh, why am I here? Oh my god, it's a scary guy. Oh no, there's nothing and there. His name is Ben it, Saint. <laughs> exactly. I, that's my, if anyone knows that Doctor Who alien, that's like a real cool one. My Wait, favorite. is that the one? That's the one that like teleports, like the weeping statues or whatever. No, 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 uh, no. Those are like oh, angels fucking, or something. I'm gonna like type in Doctor Who. I, I like how who... the Europeans immediately jump in and correct us on our lack of <laughs> I Doctor know, I know, they lore do. knowledge. <laughs> My favorite aliens are the Alien Kids, and uh, the reason I like them so much is their debut album, Alien Rap. Uh, songs about life with that lump by the alien kids, where they rap about their alien food and the ways in which they process it. Also about education reform. Yeah, 
Uh, I, I'm with you on that. Um, mm -hmm. my, my favorite aliens, I, I'm quite partial to, you know that blue guy who, like, a whole narrative was built around him from that, like, I'm blue, da, oh, blue, okay, blue, no. da, I, I was going to say that. Yeah. Oh, you like, okay, well, that guy, I forget, that guy's got, like, a name and a lore and a huge backstory and, like, all kinds of, of tie-ins. Can, can, and, we, just, oh, can oh, we just go oh, on Avatar. record, though, that, that as uh -huh. cool as that guy is, the, 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 the best blue aliens to ever exist are the aliens mm -hmm. from Interstellar 555. Come on. Oh like, yeah, I do those. love them intensely. They're they're they they got a bit more depth to them. All right, there's a lot of there's a lot of fan and lore around this blue dude, but <laughs> but I'm more about I'm Chef, I like going yeah. direct to the source with the canon, the canon lore. That's where I that's where I like to live. Guys, Whoa. Uh, uh, yeah, Gib, go on. I was I was trying to remember the name of this '80s uh, alien kid movie, kid <laughs> alien movie, and I can't uh, remember what it is. It's like it's like a group e of kids, and there's a cool one, and there's uh, there's a nerdy one, and he has a computer, and he and he uh, and he types on the computer, and he makes like an anti gravity bubble, and and then they build a spaceship, and they use the computer, make a bubble, and they go into space because the the kid was like getting dreams of like like uh, alien technology, and then they go okay. into space, and then they get to the spaceship, and the aliens just a goofy fucking plastic weirdo in a suit and they have a fun time and then the alien's dad comes back and said have you been talking to the humans again and they're like i'm sorry dad but in aliens so you don't know that that's exactly what they're saying but it's probably it's like you can infer and then the, yeah, the kids sure. go home and uh what the fuck is that movie i really like it home alone three journey to big water i don't know Guys, I, I have something really fucking important go search media aliens and you will see some crazy fucking images do I'm that ready, do dude. that as two viewers Media aliens. You see okay. that? You see a picture of Bill O'Reilly. You see, you see like a movie I poster. I see Bill O'Reilly. Yeah. <laughs> cowboys and aliens, dude, the, dude. The aliens from Cowboys and Aliens are so fucking scary because they're with cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> I like this extreme UFOs and aliens ones. Okay, well, th this is all great and all, but but I guys, I wanted to ask you guys a specific question. Yeah. Right. And it's that okay, if aliens are real and they visit Earth. Should they be allowed to kill human beings? Should they be allowed to wipe out humanity if they deem that we are inferior and not worthy of ascending to a galactic civilization? Explorers, what? 1985. Okay, that's the one. That's the one. Okay, that's <laughs> the one. All right. All right. I, I, anyway, I. why would they be able to? What if they are able to assess that humanity will advance to some, like, stage where it could be a threat like, like you know, um, like in uh, in Mass Effect, right? Like the Reapers may or may not be some sort of like white blood cell that wipes out, uh, you know, like a, a civilizations that advance too mm -hmm. far, or uh, or something like uh, in in uh, Die Buster and Gunbuster. That same idea is present, where like humanity is growing and reaching out to the stars and whatnot, and the space monsters are thought to maybe be some sort of like white blood cell that uh, wipes out like civilizations when they get too advanced, and they don't really explore why that happens, but. Perhaps one possible mm -hmm. reason could be too much stuff happening out in the real world uh, could could fuck some shit up. Could maybe well, I don't know cause right. problems. I'm stuff. thinking. Like, I'm thinking from from the perspective yeah. of humanity. Uh, yeah. Fuck that entirely. That's just a cuck mentality to, to just bend over and Agreed. not expand <laughs> throughout the universe. Because oh maybe would kill some things and do some bad stuff. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would be very hypocritical of them, considering that they're out in space and now killing stuff. Well, uh, it's you know, it really is just like the whole anti-spiral argument from from Gurren Lagann. That the anti spiral What's this about white yeah. blood cells? I mean, seriously. <laughs> They, the <laughs> aliens have green blood. This doesn't even make sense to them. They're about the black blood cells. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, so like like the anti spirals and Gurren Lagann, like their whole deal is they stopped. Like the spiral guys, you know, the spiral just represents like evolution and growth of humanity and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And the anti spirals, like they they deliberately put a cap on themselves, so they cannot go any higher. And they gave themselves the job to like squash, you know, like anything out there that gets too that starts growing too much and could get out of control. And they were and, proven I mean, wrong. And they were doing the bad thing, and it was dumb. Well, I, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, I what I one of the things I like about Gurren Lagann is it doesn't actually tell you that they were in fact wrong but what it gives you is he a got it, punched it, in the face pretty good at the end he did he did get punched real hard but I feel like that was definitely it, some subtextual uh thing there you're not wrong a little, little it's bit clear of where the, it's clear where the intents lie but like it it allows a degree of of ambiguity where it, it is true that the human beings may in fact fuck some shit up, but I actually prefer that they don't confirm that everything works out perfectly. Yes, we agree. Instead, it leaves you on this note of that everyone like agrees that like 
Okay, we are all going to work specifically to maximize happiness, freedom, and avoid this catastrophic thing that could come with too much of either of those first ones. Mm -hmm. So, like, I would not let any aliens fucking tell me what to do or my buddies here on Earth because that's thought mm -hmm. crime. I think it's bullshit. You can instead if you were if you were an alien race full Mm -hmm. of advanced technology and you were able to travel through the stars and all this shit and you could make some sort of calculated sort of projection on the future of humanity and you thought that it was going bad uh Mm -hmm. instead instead of being like welp you guys are gonna fuck up in a couple centuries so you're dead now i'd be like this is an opportunity to kind of guide this society towards a better understanding i think just just the act Mm -hmm. of Mm -hmm. of interstellar contact would fundamentally shift the progression and trajectory of human interest dramatically so i think Mm -hmm. just by just by being introduced to the concept of aliens we would change our priorities and the way society interacts in general simply from that fact and i think it would yeah like it would uh behoove upon aliens if they thought that we're going bad to to use their position to try and and help basically they need to be the america of the galaxy and and mm-hmm. intercede mm-hmm. and spread mm-hmm. space democracy everywhere and do well, uh, nation that's, building that's interesting because star I, trek deals as you as you know with this very issue the prime and directive. Uh, it's the prime directive and of course in in star trek first contact the movie based uh from from the next generation in which uh they go back in time to the moment where so human beings like Human beings on Star Trek develop their own warp drive, which is the technology you really need for faster than light travel in order to like be a force in the galaxy and in you know in the universe uh, outside of just like your own little solar system. And uh, like the what happened is as soon as they activated their warp drive, they were like detected by some nearby Vulcans who don't live too far away. And like then they came down and were like, oh hey humans, let's be friends now. And it was through that that like they developed the Federation. And, uh, you know, grew into Starfleet and all that good stuff that happened afterward. So, like, I totally – like, the best case scenario is Star Trek. Is Star Trek and Starfleet and, you know, all all that cool stuff. That's the best case scenario. Uh, But there are – like, it is entirely possible that, like, what if the humans just met the Klingons first or something? And just some, just something – not even the Klingons, but something even worse. Like, the fucking Borg. And it fucks them up real bad. And they get, you know, whatever. Whatever kind of bad things happen to them. I mean, I'm not even advocating for anything here. I'm just expressing, like, <laughs> alien issues. Hashtag mm-hmm. alien issues. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just alien R- Relatable things, you know? uh, alien Stealing parts. our jobs, crushing the working class, alien I, issues. Indeed. indeed. <laughs> I think it's retarded and mm-hmm. stupid and, frankly, you should feel bad for even suggesting anything like that. Because okay. aliens are probably not going to have any... Well, I'm not saying they won't at all, but they might not have any philosophical insights whatsoever. It's possible they might just be mm. like fucking like a dog or something, and they'll just be beasts <laughs> no, of the land. No, that's silly. Well, the only, I, well, no, well, well, an well, alien couldn't get here without a certain well, level of like development, sociolog- well, sociological. I'm, I'm, I'm saying et if we like, I'm not saying yeah. that like I, if we meet aliens, if if uh-huh. we meet aliens, then it's oh, very okay. possible that there are just like thousands of planets that are just like full of just bumfuck retard dominant species that have no sure. real sure. abilities whatsoever, and so mm. uh, like I don't know. I, like and even if there is a like a highly developed uh you know species that gets to us first it's not yeah. guaranteed that they will have any sort of of the same sort of like you know democracy or ideas such as that there's no absolutely no way to tell that they will have anything even resembling that whatsoever and so i don't think like if if an alien species does meet us there's no way to tell if it will even like know what like killing is because life just might work so different on that planet because you know I, uh, all of our ideas is built on how life is on earth but if there's I, just some weird fucking crazy planet there's no way to know what its needs or wants are everything will have needs or wants I, I hear what you're saying, but I, I think there are some basic biological foundations that make a lot of things yeah, like for like life versus death. And shit. Well, li- life versus death, for example, I think is a pretty clear cut one that mo- any any alien that advances to the point where like they can you know travel through the stars and whatnot, I think will have some fundamental understanding of like what life is and probably respect it. I mean, they, they might operate in a society that just like works on total enslavement trolls. and like trolls. Or, or trolls, Alternia there you trolls. go. Alternia trolls, yeah. 
Were Alternia trolls even that different from normal humans? What were their distinguishing characteristics? Uh, they were super fucking strong. They had crazy, like, like PSI powers. And they were yes. super fucking violent. And they, like, killed everyone for, like, looking at the bad. And there was, like, a really rigid, like, like India caste system. But then Carcat just, like, was best friends with Dave. How come he didn't just, like, kill oh God, Dave? That was, that, was after, like, that, was, <laughs> oh, no. that was after, like, that was after a while. That was, a lot, that was after a lot, a lot of homosexual propaganda. So, so, so what you're telling me is hashtag not all trolls. Yeah, hashtag, yeah, yeah. Not, hashtag all not all trolls. trolls yeah. Okay, all right. There we go. There Disgusting. we go. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, it's all trolls. Fuck all no. trolls. I hate them all. You can all burn. Well, if, if, if every troll was an MMM and, and fucking one of them had a bullet in them, would you bite the bullet, asshole? <laughs> Die. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy that Homestuck is part of this conversation. Oh. I just want to say that. I don't, I don't really have like a point. I'm just, I just remembered. <laughs> What's your favorite Homestuck alien? Uh. Oh, uh, John Egbert. <laughs> yeah, that's mine as well. Hey, so, okay, let's, so does anyone have any personal experience? Like, has anyone ever come up to you and said, like, hey, dude, check me out, I'm a fucking alien. And then rectally, <laughs> yeah, and then rectally annihilated you. You know, like a story like that. <laughs> yeah. I'm interested do you want, in that Do you want to know about, do you want to know about the, the story of the alien that got away? Yes, yeah. right. absolutely. So, when I was a little kid, I loved, I loved aliens, I loved space, I, I loved science class. We were talking about like the solar system and and and, hmm. and astronomy and all that shit. And it was really cool. And I loved science. And I was going to be a science man until they started putting math in my science. Then I was like, Fuck, this is too dumb. <laughs> right. So right. <laughs> so I was I was at the 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 the, the carnival. The the carnival, the carnival was in town. And so I was <laughs> and 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 I was all about aliens. And this was back like in nineteen ninety whatever old mm -hmm. olden yeah. times before Munchie mm -hmm. was even a twinkle in his dad's yeah. eye. Um, <laughs> wow. and, and, I, and I wasn't a twinkle in my dad's eyes ever since. <laughs> exactly. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> it explains everything. So, so, <laughs> so I'm at this carnival and I'm and I'm playing the games and stuff. And I decide there's this big alien prize and i was like that's what i want it's like it's those typical like little green alien but he were like i had like a hoodie on and it was a cool awesome. thing and i was awesome. like that's what i want and i spent all day <laughs> trying to win this alien prize at this game i don't remember what a game it was yeah. and i got it and i felt like the coolest guy yeah. in the entire world and it was like big it was like it was like 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 18 inches tall it was like one of those big hard to get oh prizes you are, you are literally peridot you it was literally exactly peridot. that's i resonated <laughs> with that scene a lot and you'll see and this 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 story takes a tragic turn here though oh, no. okay. because oh, no. because i brought it home and and i i brought it to my to my mom and my grandmother and they're both very religious and they thought aliens oh, were the no. devil so no. they God damn it. they refused <laughs> they refused to let me have it and i was like no this what is the i fuck? i worked for this this is the result of my of my labor this is yep. I, this taught me a lesson about capitalism in the world how dare you take this from me <laughs> and 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 they but they ever bribed since me you were a communist they bribed me because they were, they were like they were like all right you capitalist pig we will give uh -huh. you we will give you that toy from lost in space that other space movie that you really like right now if you give us this and i was like uh Ooh. uh 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 but uh, I won this, and they're like, "Yes, but but we're gonna be the government incentives, giving you things for free, mm -hmm. if you if you if you vote Democrat." And we're like, "Oh my god, oh, god. <laughs> Damn okay." It. So I voted Democrat. And I got rid of it Your because they're literally that. Like and they made me feel bad because I thought my soul was gonna burn in hell forever for having this alien toy that I won, Dude, and I never yeah, fucked up, and, and I never it's saw it again. Up. And every time I see the alien wear logo, I'm like, "There he is." He went, on, he went on to bigger and better things. Yeah. I'm so you became CEO thing. of a computer parts. <laughs> Come on. We can, all, we can all just agree that, like, the little stereotypical, like, green alien guy with, like, the big ass eyes, it's like the pinnacle of graphic design. And it's I what agree. humanity has been, has been reaching for their entire lives. And that's the Have only ever, thing that matters. Do you guys ever see that post? There was a post of, like, some photos, some, like, claimed real photo of, of a mm. gray alien with, like, the big eyes and, like, you know, like the the small lips and everything, whatever. And then mm -hmm. someone yep. drew yep. over it quickly as a sketch. And then again, it was the perfect proportions of an anime girl. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hey, saying, speaking, dude. It's a conspiracy of if I've ever anime seen girls. one. Oh, I'd love to <laughs> see that now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll try too. and find it. I'll try and look oh, for it. Do. You know, actually, you know what that exactly reminds me? There was a chapter in Frank and Fran where there is a, which is this horror, like, m monster surgery manga I fucking love. But, like, it's about 
uh, th this particular chapter is about so so the the main character Madarake Fran Madaraki <laughs> Fran. Um, like people just come to her and like ask for crazy surgeries because she's like a god of surgery and she can just literally do anything including like bring the dead back to life sometimes like she's just nuts um, so like in this case like a, a famous actress approaches her and is like Fran you're famous help me I like okay there's a guy that I love that I want to like marry date etc etc uh, the thing is though he's only into that fucking 2D shit he's not into 3D <laughs> pig disgusting he's not into that so what I need you to do Okay, there's the image uh, he posted. It's fucking awesome. Um, the uh, so uh, what I need you to do, friend, is make me look like a fucking anime girl IRL. Do whatever you gotta do to my fucking body to make it happen. So like she like shortens her limbs. She like okay. So what she does with her brain is this is fascinating. So the the anime babes have big old heads. So she she replaced her skull with a gigantic like dome thing, and then like has her brain suspended by like by wires Ugh. inside the thing what with like a big fuck? a big cavern i know it's fucked up My, like frank and friend is a fucked up series but i love it um so it's but the the uh, the culmination of this is that like slowly once she becomes more and more anime she uh uh like her eyes get embiggoned in all kinds of crazy increase shit increase anime but, has the christ they, consciousness they just, like increased yeah. dramatically there was just this? a knob yes there was a knob and she cranked <laughs> it to fucking overdrive here so like so like needless to say her body was getting super fucked up the whole time <laughs> yeah so like her like she she has to like wear a wig now and like she has to like ma do maintenance on her body and shit because she's a fucking freak now um but like ultimately what happens is like the guy does start to love her because like she is like his anime babes yay he's doing it so like that happens, and then like I think they either get married, they're like I don't know, they're together for a night, and it's like, and so they're, the guy's laying in the bed, and she's like, yeah, I'm coming out to come fuck you, and then like as she as she like as he turns to, like see her climbing onto the bed, there's like a light shining from outside the window, and like her wig has fallen off, and like all her clothes <laughs> are off, and you can see her body, and she just looks exactly like one of these fucking gray aliens, like exactly <laughs> the fucking same, and like it's pretty much like you the know climax what this means, of the whole dude. arc. This means that, that that anime is, is an alien plot to make us <laughs> yeah. to make us want to fuck them and they're going to make come us down. sympathetic yeah. to the alien cause this exactly. Is, uh, uh, yeah. What the Japanese have been taken over by aliens. I guess. By the way, I just want to I just want to say. Wait, um, when did when did when did like fucking Astro Boy mm, come out and shit? What year was like that? The thirties, the twenties. I can't remember oh, the forties. A while ago, N not the twenties. I, I don't. No wasn't way. that long ago, was it? Wait. No, because Disney started in like the tens or the twenties, so it was later than that. Yeah. I think I think I think it was like fifty. I'd say like the forties or something. I think 50s. I don't know, whatever. Around there, yeah. around there. No, I, I I just I just want to say um that in the background hmm. of my audio is like a very like consistently weird booming bass. Uh, that's just my <laughs> alien spaceship. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> wait wait no no no. Okay, this is some real shit right now. Okay, so okay. All right, I'm gonna drop a conspiracy theory. Christ consciousness on the other level. Roswell. <laughs> Roswell at a UFO incident in mid 1947, a United States Air Air Force's balloon crashed in a ranch near mm. Roswell, New Mexico. Oh my yeah, God. okay, Wikipedia, keep telling us that. <laughs> <laughs> 1947, Roswell. Five years later, 1952, Astro Boy is released. Oh my God! What do you think oh. it is? Mega Man came out that pod. Mega Man <laughs> came out that pod. <laughs> wow. He came wow. out, guys. My favorite monster, well, no, I'm sorry, asking. my favorite alien of all time. I can't decide if it's the Flatwoods monster or it's the Hopsonsville's goblin. <laughs> they're, they're both incredible. He, Those are excellent the, choices, Munchie, excellent choices. Here's the original depiction of, flat, of the Flatwoods monster, by the way. Holy okay, shit. I dig it, I dig it, he's impressive. Whoa. Well, this is Waluigi. <laughs> <laughs> he's Waluigi in a wedding dress. <laughs> he just wants no, to be loved. No, but no, but the fucking but the but the, the real the canonical version is fucking dope. Look how cool. Oh, okay. holy That's shit. awesome. That's awesome. It's fu yeah, the Flatwoods. Mo I think I'm gonna have to go with Hopkinsville's Goblin because he's just a little fucking guy who's an asshole. Fuck him. <laughs> he fucking uh, dude. Do 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 you know the story of the Hopkinsville Goblin? I have no idea. Okay, so fucking um basically. The, these like they're like these like two fucking you know they, like like in the middle of fucking nowhere I forget where mm. uh, like New, like New Jersey I think I anywhere uh, anywhere in the world it's gonna happen to you okay anyway okay. um you know just these fucking hillbilly fucking retards you know fuck you if you farm 
uh, we're, we're in their house. And just these fucking, like, little, like, gray, like, like fucking, like, goblin fucking ass, like, sable eyes. These fucking sable eyes yeah, came out. Yeah. And they started, like, pl- pl- like, 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 popping in and out of windows, like, playing, playing peekaboo and shit, and, like, making fun of these people. <laughs> making fun of their, like, weight and shit, being real assholes and mean, playing pranks, playing mean pranks. One of the dads would walk out, and, like, the, the door was slightly open, and he walked in the other room, and then a bucket fell on his head. Fucking mean. That's what they were. Fantastic. They're just pranksters. They're just mean people. They're jerks. And fuck you, Hobsonville Goblin. You're mean. That's why I like them because they're All right. really pranks. <laughs> that sounds good. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think Mage was trying to say something before. Oh, yeah. Mage. Um, uh, I wasn't, but I had something in mind. So you maybe you read my mind. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. But go first, on. <laughs> I have to open the door for my cat. Sorry. <laughs> Well, in the meantime, aliens. everyone, I just, while she's doing that for a second, everyone look at the greatest alien who ever lived. His name is Jiren. He is from Dragon Ball Super, and he is canonically stronger than God, proving that aliens are superior to God and my God. He Damn. is the best of all time. Also, he looks exactly like me in every way. All right. He all is right. me. He okay. is me. Now we're just projecting. I'm serious. Look at my, my newest video where I'm talking about Star Trek. I put a picture of him up. It looks exactly like me wearing my sunglasses. I'm I just agree. saying. I think you're, okay, you're mate, lay it on us. <laughs> okay, well, uh, it's not that big of a story, but, you know, you, when you mm-hmm. asked, like, if anyone had some sort of experiences or whatever. So, yep. Yep. one time, I was around 10 to 12 or so, just a little, little mage running around late in the evening mm-hmm. without supervision. <laughs> um, I was with a friend at that time. It was, like, really late in the evening, and it was almost dark, I think, like, the sun was almost completely down. Um we were both going home and we were near his house and just at the corner of my eye I spotted something and then I looked up at the sky, not like directly above me, but like mm-hmm. in the horizon. Um, mm-hmm. There were like several lights sort of flashing and something was flying by before disappearing behind a building. And I I didn't mm-hmm. know what it was because it was very, well, I mean, literally a UFO. I'm not, I'm not implying it was alien UFO, but like... Sure, sure. I, we both saw it and we didn't know what it was and we ran towards the horizon to see if we could, you know, see it behind the building. But by the time we got to the building, it was already out of sight. And, like, I told my parents about it and they said, oh, it could have been a plane or something. Because planes have, like, you know, lights on when they're flying in the darkness and stuff. Uh, but, mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. it looked too close to the ground and, like, the lights were too big and spaced a bit differently from the planes. And also, like, w- the plane had, like, no real reason to be flying over there because we didn't have an airport in my city and we never saw planes ever fly. Like, now we do, but back in those days when I was little, we, we-, we never got planes flying over our places. Like, you know, Major, I'm glad you brought that up. This? What year was this? Uh, it was, like, over ten years ago. Uh, th- I think it was it was it on September 11th? <laughs> <laughs> by any chance? I'm just saying, I'm just checking, I'm just checking in. Um, you know, I was gonna say, depending but, on how old you are, but it, but if it's only like 10 years ago, probably not. It might have been some sort of Russian thing, possibly, since I know you yeah. were close to there. And I mean, it could have been like Lithuania only got independence from Russia like mm-hmm. one year before I was born. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Are the Russians, like, are the Russians aliens? <laughs> Basically. Maybe. Putin is is superior to all of the life forms on the all planet. Right. So that's I need to inter- true. I need to interject here because I'm on I'm on the aliens.wikia.com <laughs> fandom <Excellent>. page <laughs> good, and I'm looking good. at the Anunnaki and I'm in some deep <laughs> shit right now. All right, check <laughs> this out. Some deep shit. Okay, all right. <laughs> He's in <laughs> hot water right now. He knows check, too much. Check this shit out. Anunnaki general information whole world. Aldebaran, habitat, oh. <laughs> Earth, body type, vagina humanoid. What the oh, fuck? Oh, no. Sapience level, super. <laughs> behind behind, course, behind the course. scenes information, universe, real. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is some real There's a lot of aliens. Shit. I mean, we, we, we aren't even going to get into the aliens that populate the imaginary universes out there. <laughs> There's just too many to go into. The, 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 the accompanying picture really sells this whole thing. It's uh, it's some it's some grade A shit. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh oh <I> shit! <laughs> is, wow. 
Uh, are those the aliens, those big bearded motherfuckers? Uh, figures believed to be the Anunnaki. I believe it's some sort of sculpture or artistic okay. representation. Uh, it, I, the, the guy kind of... Lo- Viewers, if you want to understand what this looks like, if, if nobody edits this in, cough then. Um, you know what's great, though? Imagine- you know what's great? The main uh-huh, figure sorry, is basically just, uh, imagine like the, the representation of Sargon of Akkad with googly eyes. That's pretty much what we're looking at right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Confirmed. Conspir- <laughs> By the way, I just want to point out how amazing it is that there is a category for like universe, real versus not real. Like think of how many entries there are in here that depict you know, universes that are not this real. This is why There's you guys got to watch Ancient Aliens. That's just the beginning of the fucking rabbit hole for <laughs> all of this shit. There's a huge article. It goes on forever. Once you throw out, once you throw out the concept of real versus not real, because that's garbage anyway. Anyway, it never meant anything. Once yeah. we get that out of the way, then we can get into the real shit where you are right now. Uh, when when I was a, a young lad, uh, you know, I was a very smart boy. You know, I hadn't cool. actually oh, where, read where The Great Gatsby. Go? I hadn't actually <laughs> yeah, read The Great yeah. Gatsby, but, yeah. but, I, but I imagined that I had, you know. I was, I, was, I, was, I was a smart cookie. Anytime aliens were brought up, I would immediately be like, mm, that's probably not true. <laughs> it's probably like this and that. And, and every time my no. little brothers would like say, Whoa, what's that? That's a blinking light moving across the sky. I say, it's an airplane. It's an airplane. It's not real. No, it's not alien. You know, so mm. I was never, I was, ne- I never had like a time in a, uh, in my childhood where I believed anything because I think I was told they weren't real before uh-huh. I had an experience like that. But sure. um, yeah, like like I, I thought I was real smart and and stuff. So I would, I would love rationalizing things in my head, like, oh, that, Asshole. I don't know how that, that could be, but uh, let me think of the ways that it could be fake, and, you know, I would be that kid. Sure. So Wild that, 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 yeah, yeah, <laughs> I ruined, like I ruined like my, my little brother's lives. Dude, do you know what the <laughs> They now important... don't believe. You, you know what the most important aliens in my life are? are the aliens from Chicken Little, because they were so fucking gay, and they're like, they destroy, <laughs> they mess up that guy's fucking baseball game no i can i can raise you one better dude you know what the import most important aliens are the flemlings what? from Chex quest those guys oh, yeah. Yeah. Get around. hell yeah <laughs> those are my yeah that do you remember oh, do you remember the weapon you had when you ran out of ammo you had a spoon and you scooped them up because they were goo i, that I was do some, remember that that was some real shit dude it was absolutely devastating <laughs> it deeply impacted I, the way i eat cereal to this fucking I, day i remember i remembered something um my favorite alien is not whatever I said. It is, in <laughs> fact, uh, a very specific uh, comic in the alien, like the xenomorph alien, whatever, comic universe. Right. The alien um, series. Like, the, the, the first movie is pretty good, but this comic is, like, the best alien story ever. And if you type in alien comic saxophone, you will see the image I'm talking about. I don't even okay, need to post man. it. Oh, you, uh, you've sold me on this. It, it's not actually funny. It's just like really cool. It's the the ending of the comic. The saxophone is like one of the Marines is like pr- a precious items, and he has to throw. I it. just want to say, just searching alien saxophone in general is leading to some fantastic results. <laughs> Whoa! That oh does my look dope fucking as shit. god! This is sick. <laughs> Dude, yeah. He's so he's so aesthetic with that thing. It looks incredible. Yeah. Oh, if, uh, I, I don't know what that that comic I am is. Hard. Whoa. But um. If uh, that's, like that's like if anyone shit, wants dude. like a really good alien xenomorph comic experience, that is probably like the best one I've ever read, and it's probably better than the movie, and I like it a lot. Shit, dude. Alien yeah, saxophone. Okay. I like it. Well, incredible. Oh my god, guys! I figured it out. I got, I got, I got our guy. I, I, I got our guy. <laughs> I, I've, I've locked up. Got a handcuff right here. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real jazz for your soul moment mm-hmm. right there. Captured shit. forever. I just well, guys, believe have, have how we, much have we run I the love gamut? aliens. I, I couldn't agree more. But have we run the gamut for our, our deep discussion about the, the realism and the 100% confirmation that they are real? <laughs> yeah, and, and we have, we have <laughs> met them on multiple occasions. I'm uh, thinking I'm thinking it's like a, a they live situation mostly, you know, they're hidden in plain sight with with all kinds of bizarre we, look, gay filters. We we have some t- solid proof that Obama is a lizard person. All right. Mm-hmm, We've mm-hmm. got some real shit. I mean, Hil- and Hillary, Hillary too. too. Hillary mm-hmm. definitely. Um, we could have been ruled by aliens, but we fucked it up. You know, what are we going to do? Humans making mistakes. That's probably the best uh best case aliens could make for wiping us out is like, look, we could have ruled you, but you voted. You didn't vote. 
with her. So fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> you, you, you work Pokemon with her, go you to the pole. misogynist yeah. piece of shit. Yeah, exactly. The aliens will not stand for that level. Of <laughs> the Besides aliens it. are super liberal cucks. Dude. They, are, they, they, <laughs> they invented dude, it. Dude, they dude, dude the first place pills. they went to when they got here was Seattle. That's, that's where they got <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that if you don't think aliens are we- real, first of all, how dare you? Second of mm-hmm. all, look no further then the the tri- I mean, if you believe that there's a love battleship underneath the pyramids of Giza, which you should, because it's completely feasible, <laughs> and I, I've yeah. been there myself. Just well, think- isn't it less than a millimeter thick? It's like yeah, yeah, one yeah. atom thick. No, yeah, it's like one atom thick, and like right, two okay. miles wide. It's the love battleship. And uh, if you think to yourself, well, what's it used for? Well, I'll fucking tell you. Back in the 1950s, when the greys were getting heated up, and they are getting super mad at you know the United States government because they wouldn't give them weed. Uh, that's all they want. <laughs> right. that's, that's the, the way they came to Earth for that dank kush, bro. They wouldn't get it from the United <laughs> States government because they were fucking prudes. So if some woman from South America went over, you know, I need, I need, I need to give them the weed so they'll, you know, they'll fuck off. So she went to the Pyramid of Giza and she went inside the Love Battleship and and she wished with all of her heart that they would get so much weed that they would fucking barf. And you know what they did? They all got sick and they ran away. So thank you, woman from South America, for, for powering the Love Battleship and proving that aliens are fucking real. Shit. I am um, 100% convinced. Oh, by the way, unlike ghosts, unlike ghosts, aliens are incredibly eco-friendly. They're known for their hacky sit, their hacky sacks and general peace-loving nature and have incredible taste in rap. They're dykes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I would take a, an alien over a ghost any day of yeah. the week. Who, what about, well, who do you think would win, an alien or a ghost? What about an alien ghost? Like, well, that's alien, what I said aliens, in the beginning. But, 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 yeah, uh, but if oh. aliens die, they have ghosts too, don't they? D- d- how do, how do yeah. you know? Dude, we know that that's we like, have That's ghosts. like the concept of interracial what if, marriage. What if, it's never happened, so let's stop discussing it. It's not going to happen. We know because of the dream bubbles that ghosts are real. So mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it, it's it's like, okay, it's, it's like the thing I was saying. We don't know if they're going to have the concept of ghosts because they might not have ghosts. We know we have ghosts because we've right. grown up on the we've evolved to have them on the planet Earth. Well, God, just so God, God has survival. only given... God has only given human souls. Those yeah. lowly aliens do not... They are, yeah, they are know, not a, a you, you superior there, beings dude. enough. You mm-hmm. the aliens what if they might have, have their souls? own gods? It, oh, no, no. No, 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 no. They could have their own gods. Guys, they could have their own gods. Guys, you know, you know yes. like the saying, when in Rome, do what Romans do. So if an alien dies on Earth, uh, maybe it gains a ghost. Whoa. <laughs> you know? Whoa. That's pretty good. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, All right, no, no, no. no. What if, jot what if, this one down. What if the alien comes to Earth and is enraptured in, in our culture and and is born again a Christian? Does he gain a soul? Well, here, Ooh. guys, let me let me I'm ask you this. Yes on that one. Ginger. <laughs> well, let me ask you this: If an alien lands in the United Arab Emirates, but it actually <laughs> lands in an American airport, so technically United States soil, can he still get legally same-sex married? Because he's on American soil, but he's also in Saudi Arabia. So you know, two conflicting laws. W- w- which law overrides for conform- an alien? What if he doesn't conform to human gender binary things? Like, can <laughs> yeah, he, what, get, yeah. Can he yeah. get gay yeah. married at all? Mm. Like the, the the most common forms of of monsters are these vagina alien types. Yeah, so yeah. like we, where does we, that exactly fall on the spectrum? <laughs> I mean, it seems female at a glance, but they're right. all vagina monsters. So I mean, uh, maybe sure. maybe all the all the aliens in the real universe are all vagina humanoids. <laughs> but right, and the universe. ones in the fake universe are the uh, ma- are the of penis. Of course, <laughs> because oh my men, God. Men, the patriarchy is like not real. It's a social construct. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It all, all comes right. together. You I got it. Little big column A, little big column B, motherfucker. <laughs> well, think- team. I think we oh, did it. Oh, we really whoa, whoa, covered on. something here. What would you want to be in your UFO? Like, like what kind? What's your like the sick UFO? Like, what UFO do you want to buy from your UFO car dealership? Um, you know, uh, dude, Jimmy you Neutron's this show called, uh, spaceship. Rick. Uh, <laughs> what about the? What about this show called Rick and Morty? Though it's like a no! UFO on that show. It's oh, really God. smart. It's really no, good. Seriously, for real, the Jimmy Neutron movie of them all turning like the Ferris wheel and stuff into spaceships is like the I coolest thing I've ever that. like ever seen <laughs> in my <laughs> whole life. <laughs> Oh my God. I fantasized about turning stuff into a spaceship and just going and just going up Whoa. there. Yes. Also, that, that 80s cool movie idea. I mentioned. Anything like that. Anything that's like real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like Jimmy I'm, I'm, uh, Neutron. I want, I want, I want the Jim, spaceship. Is Jimmy, New, you, uh, Jimmy Neutron in the real universe or is he in the fake universe? <laughs> oh, maybe we're in the mm. fake universe. Look, I'm he's a boy sure. genius. He can travel between the universes. Mm-hmm. He's not limited by such I want things a like purple, the rest of us. sparkly spaceship. 
Well, like Mage posted one? a very dank looking spaceship in there. Yeah, it's shining sure. bright. I want, uh, you guys, you guys oh, ever oh seen? My... You guys ever seen Spaceballs? You ever watched? Of course. Yeah, yeah, I want, of course. I want. I want the spaceship uh, they have. That's just. It's just the RV. But it has engines on the back. That's a good around. one. That's, that's. I thought you were gonna go with Mega Maid. I'm Mega Maid's pretty good too. I'm gonna live too. in an RV slash like van the rest of my life. Anyways, I'm gonna be perpetually poor, so it'll feel like home. Mm-hmm. You know. All right, all right, all right, all right. Fucking, fucking. All right. Is this? Is this one? Is this the Lego UFO? The Lego UFO with the green. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Yeah, you win. This is the. This is the best one. That's the one. That shit, oh god, that was in Lego Magazine every month, and I was like, oh, I want it so bad, and the parents were like, I, I have it, I had it, I had it. Fuck oh, you! I, I lost all the pieces that I have no, no! pieces left. <laughs> oh my god, we have to go on a quest to find all the pieces. We have to go back! Of the we Master Emerald. I, I, remade, I remade that UFO in like a million different ways. It was so fucking fun. We gotta, shit. When, we, when we all do uh, uh, Radcon Lego Land, there will be a <laughs> yeah. great... A great. <laughs> yeah. Those resurgence. those were the coolest aliens. That shit was dope <laughs> as fuck. Con Legoland. We have to. <laughs> L- L- Lego Con. I don't know. I got nothing. Uh, um, all yeah, right. I, 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 oh, I feel like my our, our thoughts can be summed up in this image. Fucking drag and drop. Sounds good. Please, a, sounds please, good. please. My computer's freezing up because they know. Okay. <laughs> all right. Nothing in this Noth- book is true, but it's exactly how things are. <laughs> <laughs> with a bunch of just fucking aliens. I like, I like, I like how circles. this is the third edition revised that expanded. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, you know what? You know what? Okay, real serious question. This is, this is the last thing I've got to say on this topic. Uh, what's the deal with fucking crop circles if aliens aren't making them? All right. Uh, Who's yeah. doing I, I, it? I actually, I actually had a thought about this that I forgot to bring okay. up. Um, the, the, the aliens put crop circles down because mm-hmm. we have constantly been making crop rectangles and they get confused. They think we're talking to them. So they oh. reply with the crop circles. You know, they they hear the rectangles and they're like, oh, oh, okay, a circle. And we're like, what the fuck? And they're like, oh, they they don't get it. Maybe the square in in alien language means DTF this whole time. Mm -hmm. And we've been. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. And that's why they abduct us and give us anal probes. They -hmm. think that we consented already. That makes sense. That makes sense. (laughs) Oh, we're going to press charges super fucking hard. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to need alien safe spaces. All right, all right. Final question, guys. Are skeletons aliens? Think about it. They mm. aren't human. They aren't alive. <laughs> and there you okay. go. Okay. Are they aliens? Agreed. Under the, Agreed. Under yeah. The... Okay. All right. We wrap, wrap it up, guys. We did it. Yeah. Okay. That's done. All right. All right, everybody. Uh, let's let's. Uh, if anyone doesn't have any final points, let's just take a look at these fucking questions over here. Let's, yeah. Let's let's, let's yes. get right yes. the fucking. Room. Did anyone, by the way, do uh, the thing on the on the fan Discord? No. Anyone? Ask the question. Hey, yeah, go, go submit it right now. We'll get some. While I while I while I, while I butter us up with some some mm-hmm. softball ones in here. Right. <laughs> yeah. Some uh, okay. Shit. Yeah. Uh, okay. What do you got with this one? At lib lib rplex liberplex, I guess. Asks um, tips on winning arguments slash being more persuasive. How do you get people to 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 be persuaded? Munchie, what do you do when you I... want people to believe you? When, when I want people to believe me, I just don't, tr- like, like when I want people to believe me, I don't know if mm-hmm. I necessarily want that a lot. I will, like, the point of the conversation or debate won't be to spread my <laughs> ideology most of the time, if ever. It will just be uh-huh. to explain myself and then come to my own conclusions after everything is said and done. But if I explicitly want someone to conform to what I like because I don't know I, I just want right. to emotionally manipulate them for any reason then I'll just mm-hmm. th- then I'll just act like a really good person they'll feel bad for not agreeing with me it's I'm, I'm really not cracking up at, 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 at your like straight a uh, straight-faced answer as you posted a, a, a picture of a cobra with a fucking cigarette in its mouth. <laughs> 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 Just completely no, without comment. No human could ever conceive of this. It had to be ex- external forces. Yeah. True. It's the only explanation. I love that. I love that snake. What's this guy <laughs> fucking doing? What's his angle here? I really no, his angle is getting turned as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, That's his angle. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to say, um, there's uh-huh. so many images. I I, I want to edit this just so that I can make sure that all the images get put in the sh- uh, in the thing. So if you've just been listening, uh, the video version of this podcast will have images on. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh so there Very you go. Boy. Hey, uh, so so on the thing of like how to win an argument, mm-hmm. I would say that okay, somebody who's great at winning arguments, whether you like the guy or not is like Donald Trump because what Donald Trump Donald, does Donald Duck 
More like Donald Trump, <laughs> am I right? Oh, got him. Uh, got so, him. What, what Trump does is the classic, like, debate tactic of just, like, not giving a fuck with a question you were just asked and just making up an answer to some <laughs> other question. Yeah. It's, it's extremely high level. Uh, but, like... If you're in a debate, like there's, you, you, I don't know, maybe there's like point. I don't know if this is like a formal setting or whatever. But like, if you just want people to like be on your side, if you just want to win overall, eventually, and there's no like autistic rules going on or anything, like just just ignore attacks and ignore things that are about like the substance of what's wrong with your position. <laughs> yeah. Just focus on what's wrong with their position and hammer away at it incessantly and discard all decorum and all semblance of like trying to be uh, acting in good faith or take the other person's argument at its face value. Like if you if your only goal is to win, just find a point that you think they're vulnerable at and hammer them over and over yeah. again. And that's I mean, exactly how I people do My two suggestions these days. would be first, yeah. if you if you just want to win the argument, uh, always appeal to emotion. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, oh yeah, that's a good one. Uh, the limbic brain is what's responsible for decision making, and and that's the mm-hmm. emotional part of the brain. The neocortex does not have anything to do with uh, decision making. So if you want to sway somebody quickly, appeal to their emotions, not logic, because logic is not very uh, persuasive. You use yep, logic correct. after the fact to justify your emotional responses. Um, but if you actually want to change somebody's mind, I highly recommend the Socratic method of arguing, where you you present your points as as questions. So you ask them questions. Uh, and you basically back them into a corner to basically make your points for you because uh, that way mm-hmm. they're coming to the conclusions themselves and it feels like it's their ideas and their learning as opposed to you beating them over the head with what the right answer is. Yeah. So, so I, like, have a, is it... I have a suggestion. Uh, yeah, go on, go on. Uh, just um, this is kind of a, a bit of a tip here, guys. So, like, mm-hmm. if you're arguing with someone, like, the best thing you can do is not to make the other person feel attacked by your side because as soon as a person feels attacked, they get defensive and as soon as a person gets defensive, mm-hmm. they, like, it's shut off. Like, the conversation shut off you're no longer going to be able to persuade sure. them because because yeah they they're locked in and they're not going to be budging and they're going to be stubborn so don't make yeah. them feel attacked like nate uh, your your argument about like ignoring what the the, the points the question you were asked or whatever yeah, pressing, yeah that's good mm-hmm. if you're on a debate and you're right, trying you're right. trying to convince the audience but not the person context is important here entirely true entirely true mm-hmm. and, uh, uh, and, f- and 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 failing all that uh, put an image of a snake with a cigarette in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that will win every argument. By the way, yeah, I mean, I, just on the subject of, of like debates or arguments, mm-hmm. this always gets me. Like, c- considering like Tom's like emotional argument point there, like it, it's so true. And like, okay, let's say for example, like you've got like I don't know, you, like you've got some debate going on between like let's say like a mom whose like kid was like kidnapped by a pedophile and like raped or fault. something. So yeah, he's, he was. What was he wearing? Yeah. Uh, so like, you get, so you, you like have the mom here who's like experienced this, and then on the other and like, let's say that the idea is like her and her organization are pushing for like stricter legalization laws to let's say to outlaw like you know a, like, let's say like uh, like lollicon porn for example. Mm-hmm. Like she thinks that so like he's very uh, no near and dear to Nate's heart. I- indeed, indeed. <laughs> so like, and then like on the other side, you've got like a fucking scientist who's saying like I have studied this and I am telling you there is no connection between like you know this particular art or whatever and like increased rates of pedophilia like if you've got those two people like even if the dude is correct and can demonstrate that he is correct nobody's gonna give a shit because all they care about is making the other person feel good because something bad happened to them that is how it works every fucking time you cannot deal with these kinds of things yeah like it's totally illogical but you see it all the fucking time it's the worst Worse, which is why I so so hate like all these um like advocates for for all these causes that like people individually may have experienced like the particular crime, but then they go on to like try to advocate policies to like to change things for everybody when like these people are looking at anecdotal evidence exclude yep. like it's your own experience sure, but it's completely anecdotal. It's the it's the mass studies that actually matter when it comes mm-hmm. to making decisions on a large scale. People so, can't uh, emotionally quantify statistics, and that's ex- why we're it, it, all that's why fucking retarded. It. That's why the aliens come. They're gonna kill us, and I change my mind. They should do it. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. We should I want not a meteor listen to... to kill us rather than aliens. It's my That'd religion, nice. you know. What if I the like meteor was like was brought here by aliens? Would you rather be it raped was literally by a ghost, done in Final skeleton, 7. or alien? Huh? 
Uh, aliens are gentle. Aliens are compassionate. They understand okay. what I want. They, they don't have to cater to my <laughs> they understand needs. The difference, if, it, if an alien kills you, you'd be euthanized. If a skeleton kills you, you'd be butchered. Okay. Like, <laughs> You're right about that. Skeletons Snake can really so get funny. under your skin, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been listening to this entire question because I'm looking at this snake and I'm laughing so much. <laughs> you have That's to have true. the snake up the entire Q&A session so yep. nobody hears any of this. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> uh, all right, let's pun. get to the question. Uh, right. Wait, wait. Mage was going to say something. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, okay, I said a pun, but now the moment's over, so there you go. Damn it. Oh, okay. Damn well, it. shit. Fuck. If, it, if an alien kills you, you'd be euthanized. If a skeleton kills you, you'd be butchered. Okay. Like, <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> skeletons can really get under your skin, you know? Uh, okay, what do we got here? Uh, I guess uh, here's one. At Crow Masticators. Hey, what's up, uh, you imitating motherfuckers? Uh, uh, they ask, do you lock your windows at night? I think they want to get into your house, Munchie, so be careful yeah. how you answer this question. <laughs> yeah, uh, I fucking, uh, I, I do not, in fact. I always have my windows open and with a fan blasting as loud as fucking human possible. If you ever uh, come right. to one of my streams where I don't care about audio quality or sometimes arm retrieval, because fuck arm retrieval, then you will hear my <laughs> fan. It's legendary, Indeed. it's powerful, and it's throbbing <laughs> constantly. <laughs> I, I would say that I, I yeah, like, uh, when it was hot during the summer, I've got, like, a, a little AC unit that I just left the window open, and then I just didn't give a fuck about I would just leave it open for days. And I'm on the second story, shit. though, so that will probably... I am... I'm not going to answer this, actually. I'm not going to tell people exactly where I live, but <laughs> but I, I generally do lock everything, just as a matter of course. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, whenever I can. Th th this won't matter, because he's not at this house anymore, but yeah. Digi used to not lock his doors, and it was the scariest fucking thing of my entire yeah, life. Yeah, I can't... I you know what I, I so much. I, I always think about this scene from Full Metal Jacket, which is where uh, you know Private Pile, that fat motherfucker piece of shit, like he he like they're they're all the, the, whatever Sergeant Gunnery whatever is reviewing their like uh, he's just reviewing the troops or whatever like at, at boot camp uh, for the joining the Marines and like he sees like this fat piece of shit uh, did not lock his Footlocker mm -hmm. and like he just says. So matter-of-factly, like, Private Pile, you stupid, stupid motherfucker. There is nothing I hate more in this world than an unlocked footlocker. Because if there weren't, if it weren't for people like you, there would be no thievery in this world. Did you already and say that, that line, in a different podcast? Did I? I probably did. It's one of my favorite lines ever, though. Because I had not even considered the idea that, like, what? People should be responsible for protecting their own things, and we should accept the reality that human beings are generally self-interested, so it's our responsibility to account for that and to, to, to manage our, our ways through life considering that and facing fucking reality instead of a utopian ideal that isn't fucking real and never will be and is, is a waste of time to imagine is the real way real world, real world works? What and that's the fuck? Why, and that's why Starfleet will never happen. Starfleet could happen. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as utopian as it seems, but okay. All right. Uh, what was the question again? <laughs> Do you uh, lock your windows at night? That's yeah. That's I, I, I I always lock my door extensively. I have I I have like three <laughs> different locks on my fucking door. Smart. Uh, I, I have a dead bull and I have the fucking normal lock, and then I have like that fucking shrew shrew thing at the top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hear you. Um, I want good. more. I, I I want. I don't want anyone to be able to get in or out. I'm gonna protect the civilian <laughs> by not allowing myself to come out at night because I know that I'm not uh, gonna be responsible. My my doors and windows are all locked by elaborate uh, point and click adventure game puzzles <laughs> that I have to solve every time I leave and enter. Excellent. Keeps Excellent. me on my toes. Check out this guy, this like pizza guy in this pizza box coffin I posted by the oh way. Oh my god, sounds incredible. With boobs also, I know. I love that. Uh, uh, <laughs> just yes. to show people images <laughs> yeah uh, uh, save this image yeah, this I'm gonna put it on the screen <laughs> Ben's not gonna fucking do that you no, know I'll, that I'll do it I'll do it <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, right. edit, I'll edit the thing Sounds there's, good to there's me. too many images for it to be bad. <laughs> we, really, we really have gone overboard with the yeah, fucking image posting have. this episode. I didn't <laughs> expect the images to be in the video. <laughs> it's just we just started posting aliens ahead of time to get ourselves psyched up for the right movie. Yeah. Oh, uh, and how psyched going. we were. <laughs> Gib, just, just to help you out, remember all these posts are, are, are time stamped so you can kind of sync that up with the podcast and help you True. find where True. they all are. Mm. That'll, that'll save you some work. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Good. Good thinking. Uh, okay. Let's. Let's. Does anyone have a? Do you have a question from the um 
The f Actually, wait, no, we didn't hear Tom and Mage's answers. I'm, I'm curious. Yeah. What do you guys do? You guys lock your doors and windows at night, or, or I don't, in general? I got What's I your have so much there? shit down here. I don't trust anybody. I don't trust the people I have to Good. live with. I don't trust any of you, motherfuckers. Agreed. Neither <laughs> do I. Very smart. What about you, Mage? What's I your don't trust here? people so much that I'm not gonna answer this question because if uh, anyone like thinking. goes goes out at night and sees windows and like if they see locked windows and open windows, if they knew my answer, they could like narrow down which windows could potentially be mine. So mm -hmm. I'm not gonna By, say like, like that one does billion. A significant amount of windows. Yeah. From the list of mages' windows. Oh, but now they know you have windows, so like, <laughs> it's well, already that's narrowing a down. M Mage, hey, we all gave our answers, and you're the most mysterious PCP member of all time, even to other members. Definitely so that's definitely true. That's definitely true. Something you need to worry. I like it. I, I think it's great. Yeah. It's uh, cool. Okay. Check out this question. Here's a good one. Uh, at Exilovich asks, if your 15 to 16 year old self saw how you look and act now, where you are now, what would they say? Let's start with Munchie. Munchie. Yeah. <laughs> what if you were 16 years old again? What would you do? I would, would probably, I would, I would, like, like, well, if, I think the question was, like, 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 what, what would What would my, they say what, about yeah, where yeah, you are yeah. now? Yeah. They would probably yeah. say, wow, in two months, I'm going to be fucking rolling in it, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, indeed. Indeed. So I, I would probably just be like, wow, nothing's changed. He'd be so disappointed. He'd Nothing be changed. so distraught. You didn't even you didn't even get that dank cyborg eye you were talking about. You've been hyping yeah. up your whole fucking Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I didn't even get turned into a crystal skeleton and get to weep in wakes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about how about you, Gib? If your 15 to 16 year old huh? self saw you, what would you think? How you look, how you uh, act, what you're doing? He'd probably, well, let me think. Was I interested in, like, internet game review type people at the time? Like, mm -hmm, 15, mm -hmm. 16, maybe. Um, but I'd probably just be, like, um, unimpressed because I'm not, like, a <laughs> super rock star at the time. Sure, Like, that's what fair. the fuck? The Beatles got big when in the 20s and you're halfway through yet, bitch. Kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's what he would say. But then I would say, G grow up. Jesus. It's Good not thinking. all about doing it immediately, yeah, silly boy. And then I would kill him, and then I would start disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> I know when I was 15 to 16, I mostly spent all my time watching anime. Uh, awesome. Specifically, one, specifically like big long-running shonens. I just did that all day, every day. Uh, and I would definitely be happy about where I am now, I think. I mean, I I'm saying this from the perspective of what I think that guy would say. But even back then, I wanted I'm not I'm not that swole, but I wanted to be somewhat swole. You know what? I'd be disappointed that I wasn't more fit, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Uh and and but he would be happy that I found my path in life and am financially secure and independent and uh am am achieving my personal dreams. I think he would be very happy. I think he'd be happy about all those things. I certainly am. Uh, let's look at some Patreon uh, questions. Well, uh, after I'm, major I'm time into the question. <laughs> yeah, you well, keep forgetting oh, sorry, that. I'm, I'm, you I'm, racist. Well, I'm, I'm trying out to of the read PCP. these and listen. To, I'm trying to listen to you and also read these questions. Some of them are just like, just, I don't care. All right, get it. Do that thing. <laughs> okay, hang on to that one. Uh, Tom, Mage, what do you think? Um, I think my 16-year-old self would be like, good job losing the weight. I'm pretty fat. Now you're not. That would Whoa, be one nice. thing. The second thing I cannot be, even imagine you being fat. And I know, I it's just crazy. It's crazy it, to it think was, about. It was a crazy time, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> those stairs, man, they scared me. Um, <laughs> I told you! Uh, I'd be like, why the fuck haven't you finished your comic yet, you fuck? But then I'd be like, oh, I can do 3D. And I'd be like, whoa, holy shit, I want to do that, but it seems so impossible right now. Now well. you're doing it. And I'd be like, I know. I'd you did like, finish a I, bunch but, of comics since then, though. You finished a, a bunch of shit. Yeah, Scootaloo! My, to, 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 me, to me, my co a comic is like uh, uh -huh. a, shonen, a shonen manga start to finish. Oh, that's I what see. all my ideas are, and I haven't done any sure, of that. Okay. So, okay. so it'd be like, you fucking hack. Jonan Vasquez never even had a real job right out of high school. He got JTHM published and uh, became famous. What the fuck is wrong with you? Jonan Vasquez is the guy who did all those weird puppet things you made a review about 100 years ago, right? No. Oh, okay. No, that's he's him. the guy who did. Uh, he did John the Invaders. Homicidal Maniac and Invader Zim. Oh, Invader Zim. That's what. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Gay. No, that was that was M. Dot Strange, and he's a cool yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah, he's yeah, what yeah. got me into 3D, <laughs> so I would be him. 
to, to oh. my he's, old he's self. What, he's what converted me from a 2D being to a 3D being. Right? <laughs> yeah. It was I a big was influence. I'm, I'm waiting to find my <laughs> idol that converts me to a 4D being. Yes, me too. Then I can too. finally transcend this mortal coil. <laughs> How about you, Mage? What would your 15 to 16 year old self say looking uh, at you now? Well... Immediately, it would be the opposite of what Tom says. It would be like, oh, you let yourself go, didn't you? Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I mean, not too Hilarious. much, but I would have preferred to sure, be a different sure. body type than I am now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Still, still would. Um, yeah, hit the squats, fam. Hit the squats. <laughs> yeah. But she would, ass, be, you know she would probably be <laughs> quite happy with what I'm doing right now and would be mm -hmm. slightly disappointed that I still haven't like finished any comics yet as well. <laughs> Because oh I actually did start a comic when I was like 14 or so, and I sort of uh, stopped. Hey, doing maybe it. maybe one day you and Phantom Horn will get back together and finish that hey. old uh, that old comic. <laughs> <laughs> we can but only pray. That's, that so. was that was a hard no right there. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's me. here's a question from the Patreon Discord. Patreon.com/slash/theprocrastinate. Yeah. Donate the and we'll guys. talk to you for real. It's true. For we real. Do. Even uh, Ben Saint from... is here, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them that. They'll no. leave. What a what a says. What is your favorite thing another member on the PCP has created? Oh, Ooh, good question. That is a fantastic question. The vapors. The vapors. Excellent choice. Chapter two, uh, specifically. Chapter two is. I like chapter one better. I think though. Chapter two is like it's shorter but denser with good content. I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. I, mean, I got to think. This is a, this is a tough one. Like, who am I even gonna pick? I uh, like a lot of know. old Digi contents, but like, like, like old like Project Awesomeness. I like a lot of that. <laughs> Dude, like, what the freak? Dude, my what favorite the freak? line. <laughs> my favorite line of all time. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I like old Digi Bros. Like the Dark Souls playthrough of Digi Bros was nice, and like Sonic yeah. Adventure. But that's not like my favorite thing of all time. <laughs> that's yeah. just like pretty good. Um. I, I guess, like, Hoshu Finale and the one year later Hoshu Finale thing by Jesse Endless. Horseshoe Finale Jesse was great. Was last name? Uh, I, yeah, okay, Horseshoe Finale is definitely great. Uh, I just, I mean, the first thing I ever saw of Jesse's was kind of just, like, the most mind-blowing out of all, just because it was, like, the first time I ever saw Jesse shit and uh really fucked me up oh, and it was yeah. uh, it was the 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 it was the the review of the crystal castle crystal kingdom review whatever it's like it's it's colt corona like doing crystal a review empire, of whatever you fucking crystal peasant. empire thank you thank you brony curious always good to have you on an episode <laughs> uh, I, had a, I had another pony <laughs> moment this morning too it felt awful. oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pony what, moment. what was it uh, tell me uh, about uh, it. i was in i was in a chat and and mm -hmm. with uh i have some art people in the chat and cc was there sure. she's talking about the next season of rupaul's drag race and one of the one mm. of the people on there was trixie and i just thought trixie pony because i didn't see the context of the conversation hell it's yeah like, i'm never going to be cured it's terminal <laughs> yeah whenever i hear of uh president or, or first lady fluttershy i'm always like oh wait fuck it's not the pony shit i fucked God it up again it. <laughs> she's God not damn hot damn it <laughs> i was always I... confused when i type in rule 34 uh trixie and i would get like timmy turner and i didn't understand what oh was going on there. Now we're talking. Now we're, talking. <laughs> now, we're t now we're cooking with <laughs> gas. <laughs> uh, what else is great? Uh, I love uh, Brunswick that Ben made. I love Brunswick is great. Uh, yeah, God, like I, Brunswick. I, I don't a know. Lot. I just love like Gibbs content in general. Yeah, I yeah, was gonna no. say my favorite content is like the one little animation Gibbs did with with the with the, with the glass of water. Oh, oh, the fish oh. one. Yeah. Oh, of course. I There's watch. A fish at the door. I watch both You've Got Chainmail and Pokemon Go Minuscule Review like every single day of my life. You've Got Chainmail <laughs> is a masterpiece. You've Got is Chainmail a is the best thing you ever made. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, going to have a sequel at some point. You've Got Plate Mail. Oh, oh no. yeah. <laughs> Please. I can't Please. wait. I'm dying for it. Um, I like I like it all. It's all pretty good. Yeah, I'm trying to think I don't know. Of just, I can't like, think of like any thing. specific. I like top yeah. ten trampolines. Top, the top ten reasons like a trampoline. I like the tra that. One that is a good one. The trampolines one is great. Uh, I mean, one of my favorite videos of all time is uh, like Anthony C's review of Cantalot Wedding in he's conjunction not a, with. He's not, yeah, but oh, he worked with Tom. Tom was <laughs> yeah, like they worked together on it. Uh, Invite Anthony C to the PCP. Press one if you want Anthony C in the PCP <laughs> new PCP member. And press two if you want Anthony C to be the only remaining PCP <laughs> member immediately afterward. <laughs> Incredible. 
we couldn't have Anthony seeing the PCP because every episode would be scripted. There'd be a whole script that he would write. We'd all have to do, and that would be each episode. Oh, every oh, episode. is that a dig? Are you wait, digging wait. at him? Uh, that, that's, that's funny. No, that, wait, was, funny. that wasn't a dig. That was that was a, a compliment to his insane work oh, ethic. Oh, of course. Okay, okay. Tom, I fucking <laughs> love, I fucking love your low poly 3D models you make of like like uh, like stuff, like the sushi you did, and and I think you did the sushi. The Cuphead, famously. Yeah, recently. yeah, yeah. yeah Cuphead was recent. Like, like, like all the little like cute, uh, PlayStation y sort of PlayStation One sort of things. It's my aesthetic, like, I love yeah. that. Uh, to yeah. Tom, yeah. I I have recently procured uh, a desire to uh, to have sex with Cuphead. So I was hoping you could uh, <laughs> give me that model for my for my disgusting uh, animation. <laughs> for my three D printer. Do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Fantastic. Uh, I think some of my favorite stuff. I, I was gonna say Fisher the Door. That's definitely one of my favorite it is things. It's a legend. It's a legend. Uh, so fucking good. Animate more hippo. Fuck. Um, oh. Yeah, just do all this work. I demand it for free. That's just the kind of guy I am. Um, <laughs> I'll give you exposure. I, I, I really liked Best Game Ever. To Undertale. the elements. When I strip you naked and put you on the fucking cold, <laughs> and then you'll be dead. There's your exposure, dumbass. Okay, all right. Get I'm calming fucked. down. I'm settling down. Was, I just tweeted something like that. There was like a comic strip that someone retweeted. It was like, hey, can I use this on oh, the Oh, that's website? right. Yeah. And it's just like, my, my dad told me about exposure. That's what you die from in the desert. Mm-hmm. You know, that's probably where I got the idea, too. <laughs> Sam. Stealing. Loki stealing some jokes here. Loki. Uh, I, like, I like Best Game Ever, Undertale. I thought that was really good. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Tom. Yeah. What have you done? No, I love no. it. It's, it actually is pretty good. It is pretty it's, good yeah. for what I, it is. I just, I just like how you ruined the game at the end. It's fantastic. How you're there just is, like, there is, if you no fucking should... watch this and play the game, guess what? I ruined everything for you. You'll yeah, never see, experience it. You're a fag. That's the good part. Yourself. That's the good part. That's uh, Because the reason, the reason I like mind. that so much is like I almost mm-hmm. did watch it. But I'm like, no, I think I'm going to play Undertale at some point. So I'm not going to exactly. watch it. So I saved myself. I saved myself the horrible mm-hmm. fate. Mm-hmm. And so it had had some personal weight for me. The video is an interactive experience. It is. It is. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I like I like your Gurren Lagoon Part One, mm-hmm. and Me too. Um, uh, what was that other one? There's only a few. <laughs> I'm trying to think of. I know, what it was. I know. There's not that many. Uh, we Egua Episode uh, One about uh, speed running uh, is a masterpiece <laughs> of, uh, of of vlog technology. No, there's nothing else good. I've never done anything. <laughs> no, else it's nothing something, else. Something that's like it's like kind of recent uh, that I really like. Phantom made. reviews. Uh, yeah, Fantasy reviews Fanta is reviews great. Is is good I agree. shit. Uh, Mage, I was gonna say something I liked from you was uh, the um, the the transformation animation you did with your character. Oh, the mask part. Fucking great. The keyframing on that is so good and and like mm, yeah, it's deli- it's shit, it feels it's got, it's got punch to it. I like Thank it. Thank you. It's good mm. shit. I saw it. when you post that. I was just like, mm, fuck, that's what I wanted. Fuck, that's what I want. <laughs> Oh, I, 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 I think happy. I think uh, the uh, the problem with Nightmare Moon Arc, the greatest video series ever made. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Pretty pretty keen on that. Oh, and my favorite thing from you, Munchie, is yeah. arm retrieval. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! My favorite thing is investigate. Wait no, a minute! Sorry. Oh, I'm no. so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got like three people here. It's like we'll do comics someday. Yeah. Someday. Yeah. Hey man, they're tough. They take a long. I think I think time. we all know what the best creation of everybody in here is, and it's What's clearly that? the Undertaler, the best creation yeah. any yeah. of us. Oh, have well, you know, ever I, made. I gotta I gotta give props to a uh, known member of the PCP, Toby Fox, for his creation of a little <laughs> yeah. game you might know called Undertale. Uh, it's really gotten a lot of mileage here on, on this podcast i appreciate his yeah yeah toby toby isn't a member of the pcp but undertale is <laughs> that's true you're not wrong you're not wrong i like yeah. uh, incredible. also mm-hmm. also like um a while ago you guys made the the silly parody with the with the ponies uh where y'all guys like switch cutie marks or something like that I don't remember. oh the, oh, the cutie mark you're talking about. yeah that's the stuff i was thinking about it was because it was pony stuff Oh right! I forgot about those. That was like my passion project. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. And what a passion project it was! It's not bad. It's not bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, a- hey, a- anything involving T-Bab was incredible. Is <laughs> it is and slash was incredible. Munchie, that, can you just favorite. define? Can you just define for me what it like? You <laughs> always talk about T-Bab. how you like like you <laughs> define that for me. Uh, <laughs> no, it's like you always say that you like the aesthetic of T-Bab, or like you like the you say like the chemistry that was like that good. I have never mm-hmm. known what the fuck. 
that means. Because I always think I sound like an idiot on the PC, uh, you know, because like it's before that was how I, PCP. before yeah. I learned how to <laughs> fucking talk. Well, the PCP as well, but on TBAP. Like, I listened back to, like, the things I used to say and the arguments I would make about the show. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, none of this is good. I, what's, I, what's I disagree the deal? with that. I think there was some good shit there. I, I, okay. Think so? I, right. First of all, I think there was good shit, but that's not the reason. I, 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 don't, I don't care about the actual subject matter or the actual conversation going on. Okay. I care about so what's the, left? The, I care about the meta elements at play within TBAP, my, my, the most important thing hmm. in my entire hmm. life. Right. I care about the professionality and, and like how much effort was put into this like thing that does not need any effort put into it. Just like a p- basic podcast made about the show. But the yeah. way there was there was there was a lot of you know uh, uh, pony expressions been made far more than it was uh, usually made for those types of things. As well as just custom things made for each episode. There's that one where you guys were fucking right. in night uniforms. All this different sort of shit yeah, going on that yeah. didn't have to be made whatsoever. And all <laughs> add to the experience as well as in which were so far and above beyond what anyone was saying and it was and it, it's, it's just perfect because it's so easily digestible because they're just like key notes and stuff and everyone's on this like this this like pre-planned path that's super mm-hmm, easy mm-hmm. And there's a table of contents for everything it's super easy to digest however it's still flu flowing because it's just that it, it, it's just like it, it's, it's just like you're on a bus stop and you're going to each stop you don't know exactly what's that stop but you have like a, a basic plan for each one and so you're still like free flowing and you can like kind of decide what to do at each given moment but and, and the conversation is still like natural and free flowing but it's sure, still okay. it's yeah. on i mean it's still easily digestible and just the entire aesthetic of it being you know th- th- this fucking cool thing that you have to put actual effort into moving the pony and it's not a lot of work but you just have to move the pony episode, uh, pony mouths yeah. and stuff Those and there's animations just a lot of stuff going yeah, on and yeah. phantom reviews and keg reviews are fucking incredible and they have so much work into them with fucking like musical segments it's incredible that's right they they're legendary there's so much lore just, too driven into the just these simple it's reviews. just like you you and ben have a really good dynamic just in yeah general. too because well. like because like when when we would drive to BronyCon, you guys would just get into these heated discussions about everything and i'd just be in the back seat listening i'm just like i just got a bonus episode of t-bab yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, it's like that's, that's just how you talk and it and it's it's a good dynamic well, that's cool. Thanks for sucking my dicks, fam. Yeah, no, of no all, problem. All my myriad dicks. That'll Appreciate be 50 that. bucks. <laughs> PayPal now, please. <laughs> hey, here we go. Uh, at Bellity998 asks, if you could create one new law for America, what would it be? Munchie? Uh, no more ghosts. I'm tired of them. We got to get them all out. We're, like, whenever someone dies, just get, like, a vacuum near them. Just suck them all up and send them offshore. Outsource them to China. Do something with them. I'm tired of bumping into them on the streets. I'm trying to... Mm-hmm. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm so getting sick and tired of my Indian dream catcher getting clogged up with all the spirits and ghouls constantly. I have to change it every single day. I hate it. No more ghosts. We, we got to give ICE the, the necessary tools they need to deport all these fucking ghosts back to where mm-hmm. they came from. The fucking, the fucking grave. Right back. Well, we have to give board. ISIS the necessary tools to get all these ghosts <laughs> out of our fucking property. <laughs> no, they need. We need to give ISIS the necessary tools to get these ghosts out of our fucking bodies by, yeah. us <laughs> by killing all of us. Yeah. Hashtag give ISIS nukes. Let's uh, let's make it happen, everybody. Let's make it <laughs> official happen. Official sponsor of the PCP ISIS. <laughs> official, official PCP partner of uh, ISIS. <laughs> fucking ISIS. PCP ISIS. They're both letters. Oh yeah. no! <laughs> it's he did tr- it. so true. It's so true. Uh, Incredible. Okay. What even was the question? It was what law would you make? What law would you make real if you could? A Trafalgar D law. Oh no, that's the worst one. <laughs> uh, by the way, I I don't know if I mentioned this, but like it just so happens that my uh, like a guy I work with at work, uh, he like has like uh, whatever. He just joined. He's like an intern or something, but he has a, like a little. Uh, Heart Pirates logo as his like chat icon mm-hmm. in our like uh, in our work chat and it just every day it makes me want to die. Uh, but he's actually he's a cool guy though and we talk about One Piece. But he likes law so he's an idiot and he should be a purge <laughs> from existence. He should be eviscerated. Mm-hmm. Uh, indeed. Hopefully he doesn't listen to this. We'll see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, I will be fired. I will be fired. It will be all over for me. Uh, here, here's a new line. If I think that's what gets you Washington. fired from the PCP. Like, <laughs> I, I know, out of, right? Out of everything I know, right. that's been said, I, then I, I think, you have I think some good job security. I think we've had the name Washington, D.C. for too long. Here's my new proposal. Mecca 2. The second. The second Mecca. <laughs> that's Mecca already two. a second line. I think that's coming whether we like it or not. My <laughs> oh! Uh, A.K.A. London. London <laughs> Mecca 2. It's happening. Okay, hang on. I want to read. Okay, a quick shout out to uh, hashtag worst question of the week. 
Uh, mm. At Gabriel underscore Freak. Um, you're getting a shout out, my dude. Freak. What is the best thing for the members of the TPC? First of all, he said the TPC. Yeah. So you fucked up right there, my dude. And what's the best thing? That question is too fucking vague. <laughs> Otaku Freak Gabriel, to use your full name. Oh, you should feel ashamed of yourself. This is a disappointment. On a new I'm sorry. I'm just kidding, dude. You're fine. Just don't, the best don't thing about sad. the He was about to pledge us $50. And he oh, I fucked it. up. <laughs> Gabriel, forgive me. <laughs> the best thing about the PCP is spending time with all my buddies. Aww. Uh, uh, uh. No, that's uh, yeah, gay. That's, that's gay. It's uh, not allowed. <laughs> uh, the best thing about it is the paycheck. <laughs> yeah, oh, hey he's right. <laughs> he's right. Can't argue with that. Can't Speaking argue with of that. paycheck, I thought, you I thought the question was like, I, I thought the question was like, what is the best thing for members of the like like? It's not like it's about super vague. The, the it's not even about the PCB. Like, what is yeah. the best thing for each of us? Like the, the best thing for me. Uh, uh, ooh. Um, uh ooh, it, it uh uh, uh, uh very Lego. Small... I like Lego. <laughs> okay, Lego. The, yeah, Lego that, that, and Minecraft in c combined. A very like same small thing. roll. You get rolled. You get rolled up. You get rolled up hardcore. You get twisted. That's that's what. Yeah. You, that's the best thing to happen. Yeah. A very small roll. Dude, uh, how many times have you rolled into your duvet and become a worm? <laughs> many, many times, dude. It's a tradition. Every year, I think I said this before. Every year on Thanksgiving, I turn my shirt into pants and I wear my <laughs> pants as a shirt. That's that, that's the best thing for me. <laughs> Tom, were you, were you saying something? Uh, no, I was. I was just confirming that that story is indeed on the books. Oh, oh yes. Uh, yeah. This. Uh, I, I don't know what the fuck. Best thing. Uh, I love my. I love my my, we, my Nintendo what? Switch. Mm -hmm. My Nintendo it's... Switch. Uh. See, I hate this question. I fucking hate you, Gabriel. You fucking my, traitor. My favorite thing is my Surface Pro because it's a computer and a tablet at the same time. So you can draw on it. You can read manga on it really easy. You can do actual work, That's computer good. work with it. And it's like a pound and a half, so it's super light. You can take it anywhere. Oh, wait. It's the I best got it. computing device of all time. Excellent. My, my Okay, my actual best thing. The best thing for me is when my computer does not just blue screen and turn off. It's it's all the times it's not doing that is the best thing for me, without a doubt. Without I a think doubt. the best thing for me is the best guy ever. Whoa. Dun, dun, dun. Ben Sage. <laughs> Oh Cannon. no! Munchie's <laughs> out of the piece. Of <laughs> oh, oh, even no. though I said it. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Any other questions in the fan chat? We're getting close to the end the, here. The, I the think. fan chat questions are all terrible. There was yeah, only one good one. I have a question Why for you, fan chat. Can you make better questions? You're paying money for this. <laughs> Step it up. I know. Who's the I know. best dancer blown. in the PCP? What the fuck kind of question is that? God damn it! You'll you're My you're El Ringo have, Bandito. You're Hello. Gone. They have money, but they don't have wit. That's for sure. Well, they they that's they they replace it. Like you know how all women who are attractive are a zero out of ten intelligence yeah. by default. Dude, it's dude I know just that. How it works. Hardcore. Uh, it's just how you so allocate your It's okay. Your we like you that exactly. way. If you had to choose between money and wit, we definitely appreciate your money. Yeah. Agree. Agree. Uh, okay. So tell you what. Here here's one more question. Um. At Ramun R R Ramanujan, R right? Okay. At Ramanujan one two three four asks, "What is the most time-consuming element of each of your jobs?" I don't know ice. if it means like PCP or g getting ice, or or like the fact that Fire. ice tries to deport you all the time for being a, <laughs> a you know a, 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 an alien, an illegal alien mm -hmm. violating the sanctity of the um, American Constitution by being here. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's that. I would say the the the, the most time-consuming part of my job is is the writing of the script mm -hmm. because it takes a while to decide on when it's done and how good it is i mean like recording and editing mm -hmm. record actually no it's it's, it's writing slash recording editing is fine i can do that fine it doesn't mm -hmm. f it might it may take longer but it, it there's less time where i'm just fucking around like i can just do it when i do it and for writing a lot of the time i'm just sitting there and i don't know what i'm doing and i'm clicking clacking at the t keyboard and i'm deleting my you know yep, my yep. internet system 32 you know system oh, no. 64 whatever the, the most time consuming thing about my job is whenever i have to press keys on my keyboard when i record and when i draw it's super easy and i can get it done really fast but if i have to like press down letters or accumulate exclamation points then we're gonna have real problems we're gonna have some accumulate. real major problems 
That's gonna be the uh, name of my band by like accumulate exclamation points. The, the, <laughs> That's not the, bad. The most time consuming thing is editing. I hate it, and it's it's doubly time consuming because it takes long time, and I also hate it. So I procrastinate yeah. on doing it. Yeah, that That's sucks the balls. Um, the most time consuming thing with 3D is UV unwrapping. That is the worst thing ever. It's when you take the 3D you... model once it's done. And mm-hmm, you have to mm-hmm. like put seams in it and flatten it out like a paper craft doll kind of flattens out oh. so you can put the texture on it. It's really hard because I'm stupid. And nice. uh, interesting. Yeah, interesting. those both suck balls, and I hate it. That's not just really hard because you're stupid. That's just really hard because I can't wrap my head around it <laughs> when I try to. You do can't it. wrap your Whoa. head around unwrapping those. That bottles. was why I said that, okay, Munchie. Well, oh, you very good. <laughs> oh, very no. good. I I think I gotta <laughs> most... agree with Gib. Oh, Mage, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. the most time-consuming thing for me, though, is drawing everything out because I do the animation. Like sketching? No, 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 like drawing everything, every single panel, stuff like that. Mage, how about that oh, foreshortening, right. though? Uh, foreshortening. <sighs> Foreshortening's fun. It guys, guys, I gotta tell life. you, foreshortening is a pain for sure. Hey! <laughs> Got him. Someone wrap, made that guys. joke like a week ago, and I've been wanting to use it ever since. Or no, someone did use <laughs> you it. Like someone just said steals for jokes, and that's what he does, and that's why. No, 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 he's no. I, I, I misspoke. Like someone said the word foreshortening, and I've been yeah, wanting right. to make that joke. That's mm, that's yeah, my right. story, sure. and I'm sticking sure. to it. Sure. Mm-hmm. And my yeah. my longest time that's, consuming thing. That's I, the truth for <laughs> sure. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I just did what I, you did. I stole your joke. You stole my fucking. Okay. Well, I I agree with Gib here, and I think that like. What? Uh, so it might not even be the longest process because editing does take me a long time. But um, specifically, and I'm working on improving that. But like the writing process. Okay, well with Weagawa, which is what I'm doing now, like nothing takes any time. And the thing that takes like the most time with that is just like once I've recorded, I just I have to edit it, and that like for sure takes like the majority of the time. Like once all the footage is captured, putting it down, putting in the timelines, doing the color correction, syncing up the the audio, et cetera, et cetera. That definitely takes the longest time for Weagawa. But like. The, the real bane of my existence is not Weagwa, because I can bust that out fairly simple. It's, like, in the in the bigger videos, my, my larger projects, like, it's the, it's the phase to get the script together. Like, so all the, all the research, Shut like, up. all the planning, all that kind of stuff in order to produce a script. Once I have the script, which I do now, incidentally, uh, that, then it's easy mode. Then I just record it, edit. Oh, it's fucking, it's, it's, it's simple. I don't, there's no thought required anymore. It just happens, like mm-hmm. a Weagawa does. It's, it's everything about preparing the project is where the, both the time investment, because, like, A, procrastinating, and the combination with just, like, not knowing what the fuck to say and having to, like, sit there and think about it. That's the hard shit. Uh, and uh, I'm hoping to get better at it as I go along. But that's, that's my bane of my existence, I'm for sure. <laughs> I'm pissing uh, under I'm... my own rug right now, my dude. <laughs> Hell yes. If you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, what do you I got, Munch? said enough about aliens. I love them. I, really <laughs> I love do. them, too. They're my friends. They are my friends. Is I there a single person here who doesn't believe that aliens are friends? Right now, we're going to decide the PCP. <laughs> we're going to contact NASTA. Are aliens friends or foes? We decide right now. I vote friends. Dude, why the fuck <laughs> is there not an alien... Type in Pokemon. Oh, oh my God! Because really cool. there's only Dio- Well, actually, there's Deoxys. There's Clefairy. There's uh, yeah. what else we got? Uh, Jirachi, I think, is from the stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jirachi. Yeah. Rayquaza is from outside the atmosphere. I think that so counts. That, that count. counts. He's yeah. green. He's <laughs> yeah, he's green. <laughs> All aliens are Pokemon. Wait, isn't isn't Starmie canonically from outer space yeah, or yeah, something? Yeah. I think he is. I think he is. All right, that's enough right there. Maybe Pokemon yeah. Uranium addresses this massive flaw. Yeah, in, yeah. Uh, you Maybe know, Pokemon like Uranium rolling. should get annihilated because it wasn't made by Nintendo. Ergo, shouldn't exist. Hashtag oh. DCMA, or have you say it, is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing. Hashtag legalize DCMA. We got to yeah. legalize it, everybody. Make <laughs> it happen. All right. I think that's what I have to all say right. about aliens. I, I think we're all set. <laughs> Any, anybody, final points? Final points here, anybody? Uh, uh, Kirby's my best alien friend. Oh, he's yeah, a good Kirby's alien. good. He is. And the most powerful. Um, he will split your fucking planet in half if you look at him sideways. He doesn't give a fuck about anything. Leo and Stitch, don't let Hawaii be abducted. Stop it! <laughs> okay. Yeah, just letting it happen. <laughs> It's very What's wrong with them? <laughs> I don't know what what's their <laughs> angle. Okay, my uh, closing, uh, on that note. My, no, my closing statement. Oh yeah, go ahead, Mage. Go ahead. What if we are descendants of aliens? 
Oh, I was going to talk about that. Oh, there was a great episode of Ancient Aliens. There was, great, there was a great episode of Ancient Aliens where they're talking about aliens and Bigfoot. Because that's the that's the thrust of the show. It's always aliens and something. And so there was an episode, Aliens and Bigfoot. And they're talking about how Bigfoot was an alien. But then they're like, no. What if, okay, that aliens, they're never depicted with any fur. Bigfoot has fur. What if... They, Bigfoot was like a a, 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 a a species that existed on Earth, and then they genetically modified them, and they became humans. So we're genetically modified oh Bigfoots, God. and the oh Bigfoots God. that exist now are the natural evolution of species on this planet, and we've been modified by aliens. That makes and, sense. And they're of like, course. is it possible? Maybe. Why? Fuck why? Off, ancient aliens. Why the fuck couldn't they just say, uh, like, instead of Bigfoot, just say gorillas? Because Bigfoot well, is, is the missing they link. Have Bigfoot is a too, monster! Between gorillas and humans, alright? Look, like everyone needs to watch whatever, Ancient yeah. Aliens. It's gonna, like, elevate your Christ consciousness. You're gonna become do aware I, do I of need everything. To watch, do, do I need to see Indiana Jones in the, the, the fourth one? Uh, that's like the yeah, Asian, yeah. That's, that's, that's like their their movie, and they gave it a budget. Things got weird. Uh, it definitely <laughs> has its charm when they when on on TV instead. As we all know, and this is this is not to discriminate or discredit, but we, as we all know, the Hebrews are aliens, and they came uh, to yeah. Limeria yeah. in our uh, mid evolution cycle, and mm-hmm. they sort of uh, you know assimilated themselves. But you know, technically, <laughs> all Jews are aliens. Just throwing that out there. The, not, the Jews not, are you know, the ultimate not to, you know, vagina aliens in. You know, so, to, to drop existence. a little uh, drop a little truth real. bomb, yeah. uh, to drop a truth bomb here, uh, the current science is is inconclusive as to uh, like exactly but how the Jews if, are not you, human. Yeah, if Jews are human. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's okay. So the, the to Tom's uh, to, to whoever's point it was, maybe it was majors about like if uh, if we're descended from aliens. So like uh, currently, I, I took a geology class to finish my degree last year or something, and like um. There was currently no known, or maybe it was biology. Yeah, I think it was biology. There was no known way that, like, the base amino acids that make up, like, the proteins that, like, uh, cells in, in most species depend on, like, all organisms depend on in order to function. So, like, the thought right now is that amino acids were synthesized outside of the planet and then arrived here later after it had already, you know, turned into uh, a fucking planet toyed with shit. And then it just from that like collision as like meteors hit here and brought the amino acids here, they slowly yep. collected and eventually formed life. This so like true. technically, I mean, okay, you could say like yes, everything in the universe is like from space because we're all in space. Planets were formed from from you know space rocks and shit. And the theory uh, is we're all technically yeah. Martians because they believe the the it oh, came really? from Mars. Yeah. How did we get here from Mars though? Was there like an explosion or something? Um, or? Like a meteor impact or something like mm. that. There was some okay. some way. It's yeah. That's uh that's. I hadn't heard that. There one. was a whole big presentation on it because like I guess Mars at the time had the conditions necessary to create those amino acids. Oh. That would explain the Daffy Duck with no mouth guy from Mars in Looney Tunes. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> that's <laughs> totally explained him. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, dude, what if what if the planet of the apes was an Earth, and like the apes were on a different planet, and that was their planet of the apes, and then they continued to be like apes in charge, and then they they grew their technology and they made spaceships. They came to Earth, and then they turned into humans over many years. That is, you're describing you're describing literally the plot of Final Fantasy X. That is literally. What happens in Final Fantasy X? Spoilers. Only, ah, ha, only... Ha, 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 <laughs> no, it's, it's Final Fantasy X 2, I should clarify. It's, uh, oh, okay. That's where the shit gets <laughs> real. <laughs> All right, everybody. I, assu- I assume they laugh note. in that one as well. <laughs> oh, of course. That's, that's the only way they know how. All right, everybody. That's it. Thank God. Okay, let's do our plugs here, everybody. All right, everybody. Don't smoke. Don't smoke, and but go to patreon.com slash the procrastinators. We got, we got rewards, people. We got discords. Jo- pledge some money. Be in our discord where we actually hang out and talk to people. We do. Uh, you'll you're, you get the fuck right in there if you pledge uh, like you one fucking dollar. You'll slide right the fuck in, bro. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> uh, if, you, if you pledge $5, though, that's $5 per episode of the PCP, you get access to the bonus episodes, of which I fuck believe there yeah. are seven now. There are seven that exist now, I think. And the last we're, one is a fucking ready, doozy. That, we're getting ready to record another one very soon. Yes. That's right. Next one's coming up. It'll be out. Uh, we're trying to get out the first of the month. And so that's when you should see that shit. Wake up. Wake up. Days. Wake up. It's the first of the month. 
That's, we got that's good, uh, good. we got some merch. We got some PCP merch down below. Uh, we actually just added some more to our Redbubble page with a bunch of fucking stickers. You goddamn cheap Fuck motherfucker! Yeah. Buy them. The Buy them there's all. some stickers. There's, Stop there's a mug design. There's that corporate bullshit company, Apple.com, on the front of your MacBook. Slap a PCP logo on yeah. it. Yeah. PCP member. This machine yeah. kills fascism. Like, this, this machine promotes fascism with the PCP <laughs> sticker on it. Hell yeah. Go on, Gib. Yeah, what are you saying? A, what else we got? There's a sticker for each of us. Uh, they're all drawn by Mage. They're very yep. nice. Very Me and Tom cute. are kind of stuck also, together, though. <laughs> yes. True. We're going to be keeping track of, of all the once you buy so we'll know who the most popular pcp member is and then we'll kill that person so i can be the most popular yeah. Yeah. what if Until you're I'm the, the most... only one left but tom but tom but tom we're stuck together so we'll never know It'll who be is me most... and mage the podcast <laughs> yes the best <laughs> podcast of all time we uh and also mm -hmm. there is a, a t-shirt as well a t-shirt design by the the uh, by by someone i forget his name oh, uh, edward <laughs> edward d al edward d yeah, al everybody guy. great yeah, art yeah, man guy. big fan oh, Guys, I just realized. I confirmed that aliens are real. The procrastinators, TPC, the podcast creators. Whoa. That's also the same initial, like TPC, like the podcast creators. Get it? Because like we create podcasts. So, much you're gonna need to explain to this one to me. Aliens. I, guess, I don't know well, anything pods. about what the fuck you're talking about <laughs> right now. Because they're the same letters. <laughs> The what are letters? TPC? We need to go back to square one here. The God. podcast creators. Munchie, they, you disgraced us made, for the last time. When, you when really you are off the, the name, PCB this you time, Munchie. You fucked it up, dude. You had to say the people creators. because <laughs> no! no! people. See, no! that would have made sense. That would have made sense. Uh, what else we got? Is there anything else to shill? Uh, oh, uh, follow us at TP Crastinators on Twitter so that you can uh, send in your questions, which we, 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 we mostly look at the uh, the fan chat these days. But if you also want to just send questions on the Twitter as well, and we record on Saturdays, you can do that too. Can so we keep an eye out for that. We can, always can, can, I, can I quickly show my Patreon? Procrastinators headquarters. Can you yeah. show your Patreon? No, absolutely not. Aww. That's not what this is for. <laughs> but I just no, no, none of us <laughs> shill our Patreons, goddammit. Well, well, maybe you should. Well, okay, let's reevaluate this policy. Okay, everyone, Mage has a Patreon. Be, now you, you know. Be, if you want to be a dirty bent saint, you can. You can. I just, your I just, like, I PCP. just, I just want everyone to look at, at the tears because I made some cute doodles for the tears. That's all. Okay. Okay. Duly noted. Duly noted. Go to her Patreon uh, if you're gay and you like that <laughs> shit. Uh, uh, also, my Patreon at patreoncom no, saint Oh, <laughs> oh God. no. And uh, go to my Patreon at patreoncom saint That's oh, my one. No. Oh, Ben's actually gonna get money from this. Fuck you, Ben. All right, that's it. <laughs> We're done, everybody. <laughs> Thank you Bye. for listening. We will see Goodbye. you next week with another dank ass meme story <laughs> yeah. just like this one. Uh, everyone, uh, it's time to, to say, uh, what do aliens, how do aliens say goodbye? They a say, uh, a love <laughs> Anal probe. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh. I'm supposed to be working right now I'm supposed to be working